Hi, my lovely darlings. How are you today? This morning, I'm going to be doing a Dooney and Burke handbag video. If you like Dooney and Burke handbag videos, go ahead, hit like and subscribe. Let's go ahead. Let's get started. Let's jump right in. Today, I wanted to talk about three, three lovely handbags out of my Dooney and Burke handbag collection. And we've talked about them before, but not in this way. So today, I wanted to just we're going to be doing a lot of talking and showing, talking and showing, talking and showing. And we'll be back on camera to see what fits and how I wear them. I showed you how I styled one of them, I think, before. Not all of them, but... Anyway, you guys, we're always going to be back here talking about these lovely bags on my channel. So if you like videos like these, I ask you to join the channel. Come on, come on aboard, join the conversation, and let's get started. So the first lovely bag that I want to talk about is my lovely Clayton satchel right here in the color natural. And I like the lighting today. I like the lighting. I like the way this is looking on camera. I mean... We all know the natural color is like a caramel, caramel brown, but it also looks kind of orangey, doesn't it? I don't know why I'm whispering, but it looks a little bit with a hint of like orange undertone. I don't know, yellowish undertone. It's beautiful. It's a beautiful natural color for Dooney and Burke for their leather, the Florentine leather. The Florentine leather bags are just so, so pretty. They're so pretty. I'm, I'm addicted to them. I absolutely love the Florentine bags like we all do. So today I want to talk about the lovely Clayton. Now I do have a story <laughs> to tell you guys about a Clayton satchel and it's a bit much. So if you have a weak stomach, <laughs> You might, you know, it's something that I did with a Clayton bag a long time ago. So a long time ago, I purchased the Clayton bag. And here on my channel, I'm very transparent. I'm honest about things. Everything is authentic. I tell you the real deal and the real story. So this is what happened to me with the Clayton bag. So I purchased a Clayton bag a while ago, a beautiful red one. And I don't, I wish I had a picture of that bag. I don't. I didn't have it in my collection long enough to get a picture of it or to even vlog it or talk about it. I had it for like two days, basically. <laughs> so what happened was I purchased it and it was in gorgeous condition, just like this one. Beautiful, gorgeous, lovely condition, but it was in the red Florentine color. And I loved that bag. I was so happy to get it. What happened was I was able to purchase it pre-loved from a clothes mentor store from the one in Florida and I, they shipped it to me. I, I was happy because the price that I got it for, I was able to beat out other people, you know, cause with those stores, how it works is if they send you an invoice, it's whoever pays first for the item gets it. So it's not a bid, but it's, and it's not an auction, but it's kind of like whoever pays for the invoice. They can send out an invoice to three people, to three ladies in three different parts of the world, say, I'm interested in that bag then they'll send out an invoice to all three women and whoever pays for the invoice first will be the person who gets the bag. So I paid for my invoice and I purchased it and it was $120. I was happy that I got it for that price, the red Florentine Dooney and Burke Clayton satchel. And I loved it because it was the red, it was the shade of red that I love for Florentine. Like I have a red Florentine satchel, but it's in a darker, more pebbled red color. This sack, this, this, this Clayton satchel was in a beautiful red color that was like similar to, a, it was smooth red leather. Anyway, to make a long story short, the bag arrived. And when it arrived, I, this was early in my collecting with Dooney and Burke Florentine. So to make a long story short, I didn't know, I love the smell of the leather and I love the smell of leather. However, I didn't recognize the smell of Florentine leather. I wasn't well i didn't know it that well then so when the bag arrived i opened it and it had a strong smell i don't want to say putrid smell but it had a strong strong smell and i thought something was wrong with the bag <laughs> i thought I, I asked myself I, I was like i kept questioning myself is that the smell of florentine is that the smell of florentine or is that you know i know the smell of leather but i was like is that the smell of florentine leather and some just didn't sit right with me. It kept playing on me that, you know, that's why, and I know some people are gonna say, oh, that's why, you know, they don't buy pre-loved, they only buy new. 
if you're in the handbag game and lover and collector as long as I am and as long as some of us are, you're going to buy a bag pre-loved. I mean, you know, you're going to buy new, but you're at some point going to purchase a pre-loved item, whether it's a Chanel, whether it's a high-end item, or whether it's a contemporary brand. At some point, you're going to fall in love with something and you're going to want it and you're going to purchase it pre-loved. Even if you want to say, I don't buy pre-loved. Yes, you do. Yes, you will. <laughs> It beats your budget in your wallet, okay? <laughs> so anyway, to make a long story short, I love the bag, the price was right, I, they sent it to me. When I got it, I was so, so happy, I was so, so happy. But I just, the smell, I kept, it kept playing, I was like, is that the right, correct smell? And I just didn't think, I, I didn't know. I thought it wasn't the right, correct smell. To make a long story short, you guys, I tried cleaning the bag thinking I could get rid of the odor and it was a Florentine odor, it wasn't going anywhere. And eventually I threw, threw the bag out. That hurts my, uh, 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 it's like a dagger. That hurts my heart to say that I threw the bag away. Murder, death, kill. I threw the bag away. <laughs> And I regret it to this day because there was nothing wrong with that bag. That was the beautiful Florentine. It just had a higher stench of Florentine than on all of these bags I'm about to show you today. Smell very heavily a beautiful Florentine leather. However, that bag just smelled even that much more of a punchy odor of Florentine that I thought something was wrong with it. I tried cleaning it. It didn't go away. And instead of, so my, my advice is Whenever you're going to, before you throw any item away, any handbag, anything that you're working on for an odor or a smell or for any reason, before you do something rash, think about it for a few days. Because I thought about putting this bag in the basement, in a, a corner of the basement of my house and thinking about it for a few days and waiting it out and seeing if the odor that it was emitting was going to go away. And then I wouldn't have made that stupid mistake. But instead, I just wanted to correct the mistake. I was like, no, no, no. The bag is beautiful, but it's wrong. It's there's a bad odor. And I threw the gar I threw the bag out on garbage day. And I cannot believe to this day that I let such a beautiful red satchel. It didn't even go to someone else that would appreciate the bag. It went in the trash. Ah, it's killing me. Okay, live and learn. Live and learn from experience. <laughs> So today we have an upside to the story. I'm here to tell you about my three beautiful Florentine bags in the lovely natural that I love so much. So this is my Clayton, you guys. And look at how beautiful she is. And yes, mm, I'm loving that delicious Florentine odor. I'm not gonna make that same mistake twice, you guys. <laughs> so this is her. And what I wanted to talk about today is with the natural color, I just wanted to compare the shades of natural that I have in my collection. So my next beauty right here is my lovely Hattie in natural. And look at how beautiful the Hattie satchel is in natural. Let's look at her compared to my Clayton satchel. And I always wonder if I'm going to be able to see a difference on camera in these bags. Because when I look at them in my closet, you know, they're they look the same and I, I purchased all three of these bags at different times but they're the same color so you know I just wanted to take a look at them together and see if there was any differences that I could notice in the lovely color of them and I don't they all look the same you know they all look the same I you know thought maybe that having the Clayton the longest that maybe this would be a little darker but it's not so you know, I don't know if you guys see any differences in these lovely bags, but I absolutely love the natural color. And I will be back on camera to talk about these lovely bags some more, but today I just wanted to discuss these lovely bags. The Clayton, I'm not using this bag. I do find that I'm not using this bag as much because I was using it a lot more pre-pandemic when I was going to work more, and I'm still at work now, but when I was going to the office more, I would use this bag because it could carry my laptop, it could carry my tablet, it could carry, you know, larger notepads and planners. So I was using this as a, any woman that's a businesswoman or in the office, if you want a nice satchel that can help carry some of your belongings along with your personal items and makeup, I would recommend the Clayton too. Now, if you don't need, because it's a heavy bag, it's very large. If you don't need such a large bag, then I would say go with like a satchel. So then I would say go with like one of the satchels. So this is my small satchel right here. 
Dooney and Burke small satchel and she is a lovely natural color as well. So this is what she looks like in comparison to the Florentine satchel. All of these bags smell so beautiful. And just think, I would have that beautiful red Clayton sitting with me right here, you guys, if I didn't make such a stupid mistake. But that's okay, you live and learn. Now this is my beauty right here. This is what she looks like. Those are, that's the Clayton and the small satchel together. Let's see if I can fix that. So that's the Clayton and the, the Clayton and the small satchel together. It's so nice how Dooney and Burke, you know, how they made these bags with the feet under them. I absolutely love that. Let's take a look at the Hattie and the small satchel together. So this is the Hattie and the small satchel together. This is what that looks like. Whoa, I can't see a difference. I thought maybe on camera, I, I thought I would be able to see a difference maybe, but they all look very kudos to me with picking these lovely babies out. It's just a coincidence. Actually, it's not kudos to me. They all just happen to have, you know, they're all in natural, so they all just happen to have very similar shades of the natural color. They all just happen to have very similar shades. What I want to talk about too is I, this is for me when I purchased a bag and these bags were purchased, these two were purchased new. This was purchased pre-loved. Um, I am a corner fanatic. I'm a corner freak. I always want to make sure that, especially on the satchels, that I get good corners. You always want to make sure that, you know, I always want to make sure that I don't have any rubbing in this area right here. I don't like when they're scuffed or they're rubbed in the satchels in that area right there, whether it's a Bristol satchel, whether it's a Florentine um, small satchel or large satchel, whether it's a Clayton satchel, just any of the bags. If it's the Hattie, if they're in Florentine leather or in any, any of your handbags, I always wanna make sure that the corners don't have any wear. You can see my corners are really, really good. You can see the corners are really, really good. This one on camera looks like it has something there and it doesn't. But <laughs> anyway, you get the point. It's not all banged up and worn down. These are really good corners on these bags and really, really good bags in great condition. So let me go ahead and show you the corners of the Hattie as well. See what I'm saying? That looks really, really good to me. That looks really, really good to me. So. I just wanted to talk about these lovely bags today on my channel. So here they are, all three of them together. So I just wanted, I can't, you can't see me. <laughs> I don't want you to see me. So I just wanted to talk about these lovely bags today on my channel and do a little bit of a review and a story time with you girls. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe on my channel. Smash that thumbs up button as well as the subscribe button. Put on your notification bell so you'll know anytime I upload videos. Oh, heck, girl, just watch me every day. I'm here every day. You'll know. I upload a video every day. I'll see you tomorrow in tomorrow's video. Bye.